Are your instances using multi-factor authentication? If not, why not? Because multi-factor authentication dramatically increases the security of your ServiceNow instances and prevents the majority of security attacks. Maybe it's the inconvenience of getting your users to use an external authenticator application. Well, what if I told you that there is an even quicker and easier way to get your users to use multi-factor authentication or MFA? There is a feature in ServiceNow that allows users to log in with their fingerprints and faces. It's called web authentication and it was introduced in the Rome release. What is multi-factor authentication? Well, it's the authentication using a combination of two or more methods, such as something that you know, such as a password or a PIN, something that you have, such as a security card or a, an authenticator app, and something that you are, such as a fingerprint or a face ID or some other biometric identification. So let's take a look at how easy it is to set this up and get your users using multi-factor authentication. The first thing you'll need are a couple of plugins. The first is multi-factor authentication and the second is web authentication. The MFA plugin may already be installed, but you'll need to install the web authentication plugin as I've done here. Okay, so once you have those two plugins installed, you can come to the properties for multi-factor authentication. Okay, so I'm just gonna go straight to the properties page and enable multi-factor authentication. That's all I have to do. If you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see here that the property for enabling web authentication is already active. As soon as we activated that plugin, that property is set to active by default. Okay, so I'll go ahead and save that. Now, as an administrator, you have the capacity to enable multi-factor authentication or require it for any user at all. We won't go into multi-factor criteria here and the MFA context, but there are ways, as I said, for an administrator to make it mandatory to log in using multi-factor authentication. For this little demonstration, I'm just going to enable this for myself as a system administrator. So I'm going to come to my user profile here. And once you have MFA activated, you'll see that there is a link here in the profile called multi-factor authentication. So I'll open up that. And I'll go ahead and click set up authenticator app. Okay, I'll get a QR code here. So I'll need to scan that with my device right now. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Google Authenticator, but you can also use many other authenticator apps out there. Just check the ServiceNow documentation for what's supported. So I will open up that and scan this QR code. Okay, so now I've got my six digit code that's been registered with my application, with my instance rather. So I'll put the code in and pair the device. Okay, and that's been set up now. Okay, so we can go ahead and test it. So if I come in here to log out, and I'll log back in. Okay, so now I get the requirement that I need to enter in that code once more. So I will do that. 186277. Okay. Now, what I could also do right here is to set up biometric authentication, but I won't do it right now. I'll click on login. So in order to log in with a fingerprint, Touch ID on a MacBook, for example, or your face, such as Face ID on an Apple device, you need to have multi-factor authentication enabled and you need to have the Authenticator app enabled as well. That's a requirement, actually. You can't just use a fingerprint or a Face ID because not all browsers, operating systems, devices will support this. So the Authenticator app is kind of like the baseline, if you like, uh, the backup, and uh, if you want to use uh, a fingerprint or a face ID, then you can go ahead and do that. So now that I've logged back in again, I'm going to go back to my user profile here. And enable touch ID as well. So I'll go to back to multi-factor authentication. You can see we already registered the authenticator app. And now I've got the option here to enable a, a biometric authenticator or a hardware security key. 
So I'll go ahead and select Register Biometric Authenticator. I'll give this a nickname. I'll just say this is my MacBook and register. And then I'll get a pop-up here. Continue to put in my fingerprint. So I'll do that now. And that's it. Okay. My device is now registered with my ServiceNow instance. So again, we can come here to log out. Log back in. Now, rather than entering in the six-digit code from my Authenticator app, I can just select login using alter alternative method. And my prompt comes up for a password reader. I select, or well, enter in my fingerprint, that's it. Okay, don't have to worry about a phone or entering in six digits. A lot quicker and easier. I can just use the fingerprint reader on my own laptop. So that's how easy it is, ladies and gentlemen, to set up multi-factor authentication using your fingerprint reader on your laptop. We can also try now to set up multi-factor authentication using my phone and then using Face ID on my iPhone. All right, everyone, I'm now trying to log into the same instance with the admin user on my mobile device. I'm using ServiceNow Agent and I'm going to just tap Login. Okay, I'm going to have to enter the six-digit code here to set this up. So I'll go back to my Authenticator app. And then I'll go ahead and put that code in. And I'm going to select this last option here to set up biometric authentication for this device. Login. Okay, now I can register the device. Continue. Face ID is registered with my instance now. And now I'm logged in. I actually don't have any apps installed on my instance, any mobile apps for the instance. So this is why the page is blank, but I'm logged in now. So now whenever I want to log into the ServiceNow agent app, I can just use Face ID on my phone as my form of multi-factor authentication. And that's it. That's all you need to do to set up multi-factor authentication using biometric data from your users, whether it's a, a fingerprint, a face, uh, or even uh, you can use a security card as well. Okay. Um, if you want more information, check out the documentation site from ServiceNow, docs.servicenow.com. There's a few system properties uh, and a few other things uh, you can do there. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.